Juice Wall Productions. What's up guys? This is Dylan with Juice Wall Productions. And this is Reese with Front Range Vapor. Today we're going to be doing a review on the new Sick Boy flavors. Uh, Sick Boy is a brand we've been carrying for quite a while now. Uh, generally we pretty much like a lot of the stuff they make. But their newer stuff, uh, yes and no, not so much. Um, so we're going to kind of break down their new stuff and uh, what we like and dislike and see what you all think. Alright, um, first off I'm just, sorry to just drip this. I have a fried MBYC, come in 60 ml bottles, it's just a sample bottle. I have that on mine, uh, what are you going to do first Reese? I'm going to try the J-Ho from the Sick Drip, which is their second line they came out with. Um, I always love the bottles from Sick Boy. Their labels are nice. Uh, makes it easy to sell. They've got all the warning labels. Um, definitely took time to make their labels nice. Uh, so, uh, you try that one and I'll try this one and see what we think. I personally like this juice a lot. When I first had it, I originally had NBYC, and it it's not a bad juice, but it's not a good juice to me. It, kind of a bland flavor, but this one, you actually, I almost get like an oatmeal flavor out of it, and I really, really enjoy this juice quite a bit. I personally think that NBYC is a really good flavor. It's just not my flavor. It's good. It's just not something I can do all day. Um, the MBYC Fried is a little better, but I still kind of get that hang up of it's just not really my thing. Um, but I'd also have to say the same thing about this J Ho. Uh, it's definitely got an interesting name. Um, the first time I tried it, it was not my favorite. Uh, I actually did not like it at all. Um, which is strange because it's right up my alley. I like lemons and I like custards and I was really excited for it. Um, but now that I've given it some time and tried it more, I think more or less it needs to be at the right temperature. It needs to be on its own. You can't have other mixing flavors or it just kind of tastes gross. What? <laughs> you just mixed it and you're like, well, we'll see what happens. There is no return. I so, think the true flavor of it, it has to be by itself. Yeah. And you're vaping at a lower wattage. Uh, I'm going to see what it's like at a high wattage. So this is 8.4 volts on a 0.45 coil. So. I get a lot of lemon. A high wattage is just like... No cream. Just lemon flavor. All lemon. I mean, it's not bad. I, I love lemon, but I could not do it all day. It would be like if I just ate a really heavy, salty meal, this would be really good. Yep. Yeah. Definitely. That's enough of that, though. All right. It's really sweet. Let's move on to uh, their second flavor in the line from Sick Drip. It's called Triple G. It is a strawberry watermelon taffy. Because um, I don't want to put this on my wicks, we're going to use one of the shop testers. And let's see what it tastes like. I've actually, I think I've tried this one. I may have tried it when it originally came out. But that was months ago. Being a tester. Really low wattage. <laughs> I'll turn it up to 50, see if that helps. Ooh, that smells very, very fruity. It's definitely got a very pungent smell to it. Yeah, not a fan of the smell so far. Personally, not at all a fan of the flavor. It does straight up taste like watermelon taffy, which 
I despise. <laughs> I cannot stand to eat watermelon taffy. I love those little watermelon taffies with the little black things in them. And to me, it doesn't taste anything like that. Um, I'm not really getting any flavor, but I'm using this little shitty tester. You can kind of taste it, but it's like, mm. All I taste is fried. Really? Yeah. I can kind of get a taste for it. Um, I think that really <clears throat> it appeals to those people that just like really strong, fruity, sugary flavors. I mean, there's definitely going to be a lot of people who like it and a lot of people who won't agree with my opinion on it, but it's just not me. I'm not a fan of fruity flavors. I think it can be a good juice and it'll probably be a decent seller. It's just uh, not our thing. Filth next. next up is going to be uh, the Filth, which is a Huckleberry Milkshake, which mm -hmm. when it first came out, this is like all I wanted to be. Um, revisited it yesterday, and I'm going to revisit it right now. Definitely say kudos. It's been, for us really hard for brands to make good berry flavors, and this is definitely one of them. Yeah. It actually tastes like fucking berries, and not like some... Insane. <laughs> Some weird, like, sugary concoction that tastes like fruits. Yeah, like I actually get, like, a tart huckleberry with a nice, smooth exhale of cream. Even at high wattage. Like, uh, the last thing I vaped it on wasn't as high of wattage as this when I first started vaping. And it brought out the sour notes a lot more to me. Okay. Definitely a brand where temperatures do matter. Um, because they're lower VG, I think that you get different notes at different temperatures. Um, also, what I've noticed, the Huckleberry milkshake dripped on your cotton first, then followed up with some fried, is probably one of the best tasting things I have ever discovered. It's pretty awesome. I like the filth. I can do it for a little bit. Um, I don't think it's necessarily an all day for me, but it, I'm bipolar with juice. Um, but together, like I don't like either one by themselves, but together they're awesome. Yeah. And I could probably go through bottles and bottles and bottles. Yeah. The filth for me is a, uh, it's like not a full all day vape, it's like a half day. Like about halfway through the day, I'm just like, okay, I need to switch it up. All right, so next one we're going to do is uh the sick boy irreverence strawberry napoleon it's a weird name and it's not napolitan it's literally napoleon napoleon yeah so th apparently this is what strawberry napoleon tastes like a little short irish <laughs> irish <laughs> french dude <laughs> yeah, anyways uh let's give it a try i'll let you go first Yep. <clears throat> to be honest with you, I'm not excited for this juice. Let's, uh, let's give it a sniff. I haven't. Even, I have not tried this. I have not smelled it. I have just been going off what I've heard. Uh, I'm gonna let you try it before I say what it smells like. Because I have a feeling it tastes exactly like what it smells like. Um, I I bet a lot of people could like this, and the more I vaped it, the better it got. Definitely. But your first like four hits is, yeah. It's at twenty three watts. Cause it is that cool. Quit sucking on robot dicks. No. No. Definitely not going to put that on my RDA. Nothing personal <clears throat> to it. It's just no. Yeah, it's not my flavor at all. No. It tastes like creamy strawberry. Play-Doh. Yeah. And it smells exactly like I, strawberry Play-Doh. I remember eating Play-Doh as a kid, and if I had put strawberry syrup on it... Yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. Take, take Play-Doh and take the syrup from IHOP, the strawberry syrup, and combine them. That's what that tastes like. Yeah, no, I don't miss that part of my childhood, eating Play-Doh. No. Not going back to that. Uh, 
I think people would buy it. I think it's probably a, a great flavor if you vape it long enough at the right temperatures, but it's not for me. For you temperature control people out there, you may love this juice. Yep. I vape mechanical mods. I no. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> All right, let's do their other addition. This is a uh, wedding crasher. Wedding crasher. It is a uh, carrot cake. Carrot cake. From my Got smell it. I get out of it. Got it on here. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to put it on mine. So we're talking about smells. MBYC fried. I don't like the smell. I love the smell of that one. I think it smells funky. I can smell like straight up. Like it's good oh, yeah. and it's funky. Like that just makes me crave yak so much more. I didn't see that. No. Let's try this wedding cake. I don't know exactly what the actual description for this is because I did not look it up. But uh, try that. carrot cake with cream cheese and frosting, handmade. I forgot I had just dripped filth on that. Yeah. It's like if you had the filth with icing caked onto it. Yeah. He has a PlayStation in his pocket. Yeah, I sure do. Do you want to play with it? Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, it, I'm going to have to it's redrip it. It's definitely good at lower temperatures. At higher temperatures, it just kind of tastes like gnar gnar. When I smell it, I smell just like straight up fondant icing. It's like cream cheese fondant icing with a hint of coke, uh, with a hint of carrot cake. A hint of coke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is real good juice. Bruh. <laughs> it, it's a good flavor, it's just not my flavor. And again, another one that it was like, just the other day was like, hey, somebody should make a carrot cake flavor. And then this came in the mail, and I was like, yes. And I tried it, and I was like, nope. I don't mind it. I don't know if I'm getting, like, lingering notes of the filth, but when there has been filth on it, I taste less of the icing and more of the cake, if that makes sense. You definitely have to go through, like, 10, 15 mils before it's like, okay, yeah, this is okay. I like this. Like, I don't mind it. I would definitely vape it. It wouldn't be an all-day vape, but... I probably wouldn't buy a bottle, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's I one think of it's... those juices that would be in my bag for a while, and I would occasionally remember it's there and be like, I'm going to drip some of this. I think it would be a good seller for a lot of people that like that cream cheese flavor. Yeah. Um, I don't think I'd personally buy any. To me, like... The way I picture it in my mind is I love red velvet cake, but I hate to vape red velvet flavors. This could be an alternative to that because it kind of gives you that cakey cream flavor without the disgustingness of red velvet in the form of the vape. Yep. So on a whole, uh, we've just brought in the MBYC Fried. It is very good. It comes in 60 mil. Um, you can get it here at Front Range Vapor. Um, Based on what we've tried today, I think we're going to be seriously considering the sick drip line. Whereas before we were kind of on the fence and not really as impressed. Um, but I think it's definitely a contender for the new stuff. Um, maybe the wedding cake, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, my personal opinion on it, I'm very glad we brought in the fried because it's definitely going to be a juice I'm going through more. I would hope we get in the fill, just because it, it's good. I've never had a like a blackberry huckleberry flavor that's good. And this one is. It's true. Triple G, I would never vape it. But again, I've said my opinion on that. And then J-Ho, when I pick up a tank and I want to have just a quick lemony vape, it'd be good for that. I think the Triple G, we bring in in a small quantity. If it flies off the shelf, we keep it. If not... Maybe not stay around. Yep. Although well, the other two are pretty decent. <clears throat> I think they deserve a, a spot on our shelf. I don't. No, no, no. You just pay yourself to rest. <laughs> rest in peace. Moment of silence. Rest in peace. Uh, strawberry Play-Doh. <laughs> it's on the... It's okay. You, 
It's okay. You're safe for now, buddy. You're safe, safe for, for now. now, guy. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. Change tastes good. Join the revolution. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, by the way, I can say fuck all I want. Be a dick. We won't get our endorsements. Oh, really? I forgot about all that. Yeah, that new shit that just happened. Yeah. So, this is the last time I'm gonna say FUCK on uh, my camera. Because fuck you, YouTube. Fuck you, YouTube. I mean, it's not like we really do it for endorsements anyways. Just be like, dumb troopers and be like, AND WE'RE BACK! <laughs> 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 Shout out to your mom, because she's so tasty. Mm. Yeah. You can make your mom filthy. Oh, you can make your mom filthy, and she hangs out with J-Ho on that triple G. Getting all fried. Getting all fried. <laughs>